Hello YouTube! Welcome to uh, the night before XWF Vengeance! Because here's, but before we get into that, we got XWF Riot Girls Wrestling, but let's, and so let's get into tonight's match card. Kicking us off. In our opening contest, we got Claire Groff taking on Paris Hilton in Falls Count Anywhere action. Claire did be did come out victorious over Paris Hilton last last week. Actually, that footage is not visible because yeah, recording problems. We had recording problems, mainly OBS. And moving on to our next match, we got Lilith Lovecraft taking on Bad Attitude Betty in rival reaction. And to make up for those recording problems and the fact that the last time I'm, the titles were on the line. The Los Santos Thotties won via countout. They will be putting their titles back on the line against the Sisterhood. So you will be getting a... Actually, one thing. I should redo that because... <laughs> it's a title match. Uh. It's a title match. It should be normal tag match. There we go. Title match on. There we go. Normal tag match. So, yeah. We got... The Sisterhood taking on the Los Santos Thotties in a normal tag team matchup for the Women's World Tag Team Championships. We also got Elsa Royal taking on Rachel Power in a Fault Alls Count Anywhere con competition. Can the RGW Women's World Champion stay victorious? and continue her dominance or will we see the rise of a new contender here tonight in Riot Girls Wrestling we got Connie Diamond taking on Taylor Swift in one-on-one -on -one action brand new Women's United States Champion continuing to take on Saturn in rivalry action and in our main event, we got Sola Luca Vera taking on the crybaby clown Soupy in our main event. So let's get down to the ring and get our opening contest underway. This is Falls Count Anywhere action. The chairwoman Claire Groff taking on Paris Hilton. Number one contendership implications definitely on the line in this matchup. So let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. We got a night of women's wrestling action for you guys here tonight. This woman is known for wanting to pull weapons out during this type of match. She's willing to take the action to the outside and pull out whatever weapons that are underneath that ring in order to pick up the victory in a matchup of this caliber. Oh, 
And this woman has, this uh, competitor has seen a few snags on her way to collecting championship gold. Can she fight that way, fight her way back to getting another shot at the RGW Women's Championship? She has proven herself worthy to compete against Elsa Royal, but she hasn't had enough to win the championship. She is 0-2 against the women's champion here in RGW. She is looking to finally break through that glass ceiling and win that championship. But she has to go through the woman who runs this entire promotion. The woman who would stop at anything to make sure she's back on top of the women's division the Warzone and RGW. And right now, Paris Hilton has taken it to the chairwoman. And we know how vindictive Claire Groff is by wanting to, to lead Elsa Royal down that downfall. And she's very competitive in this division. Whether she's using weapons, bending the rules, or even competing. More than likely, she just bends the rules. And we gotta cover one, two, and no! Paris Hilton kicks out. Like most of uh, Claire's matches, she does a lot to bend the rules in order to pick up the victory. Oh, oh! Harris gets out of... Oh! Northern Lights suplex! Irish Whip sending the chairwoman out of the ring. Tie up on the floor. Oh! Paint brushed! Now into a dragon sleeper. Locked in on Paris Hilton. Oh, Paris fighting her way out of it. Shoves Claire off of her. Oh. As we're up in the fireman's carry. Oh! Roundhouse kick into the cover! What? Only a one count. It's going to take a lot more to keep uh, the chairwoman down. Ooh, nice falcon arrow. One, two, and a two count. Remember, XWF Vengeance is tomorrow. We got the return of the ringmaster, Mike Groff. Taking on Mr. Graw for the Hardcore World Championship. So that is definitely going to be a ball. Oh! 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 Right into it, Northern. Damn! Claire is in a lot of trouble right now. Oh! Recoil! Now going for the cover. Can she get it? What do? Three in Paris Hill. Make short work of the chairwoman here tonight. But also, still coming up tonight, we got the uh, women's tag team championships on the line. The sisterhood definitely want another shot at that because they do not because they definitely deserve another shot at those women's tag team titles out of the fact 
that that uh, <clears throat> that the Los Santos Thotties won that match via countout. So we are going to get a legit finish in the that match over those titles because you the fans deserve that. But right now we got Lilith Lovecraft taking on Bad Attitude Betty. So let's get this match on down to the ring. And this has definitely been a feud that has been contended over the X the RGW Women's International Championship. And these, these two have had a bitter rivalry over that championship. So let's get down to the ring, get this matchup underway. And he becomes the Women's International Champion. Yes, this uh, championship, the, the new championship is inspired off of the classic Intercontinental Championship. And Lilith is holding that coveted championship high above her head before she enters the ring. Before she enters the ring. Now she's holding it back up. Now here comes her rival. Her rival now making her way down to the ring. Ooh. Ah, she was gonna, almost going to walk off the ramp or pull a CM Punk and do a stage dive, which we all know how that ended. Let's get this matchup underway. Ring the bell! Tie up. Irish whip into the corner and a clothesline. Betty collapsing in a heap. Oh, grabbing the face. Oh! Stiff punch! Another stiff punch! That was almost like a Superman punch from Lilith Lovecraft. Now she's going to the top high rent district. Oh, and it did not pay off. Headlock and damage to the arm. Another punch. As her up. Slam! Yeah, Betty rolling out of the ring. What's Lilith looking to do here? Oh! Suicide dive to the outside! Oh. What the hell? Did she just lick her hand? Disgusting! Oh! Oh! oh power bomb on the floor! And we all know that that uh, thin layer of padding doesn't offer much protection. Oh, back body drop! As her oh! Swinging neck breaker! Now Betty going for the cover. One, 
two and no. This match stays alive. Nothing like women's wrestling action on a Saturday night. Oh, Lilith reversing it. Headlock takeover. She's got it wrenched in on Betty. Oh, oh. High up. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, drop down. Oh, dro oh the drop down. Oh, and couldn't come up with anything. Now Lilith getting their comeback. Pele knocks down Betty. Now L Lilith with the cover. One, two, and no. Another near fall as this match stays alive. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, drop down. Oh, oh and misfire. There's a lot of misfiring going on in this matchup. Oh! Snake eyes! And Lilith collapses in a heap. Betty continuing the assault on her opponent. Oh! Can't get on back of the leg. Oh! Oh! Russian leg sweep! Now Lilith rolling to the outside. Betty going to the top rope high lift district. Oh, elbow dropped to the spine. Oh! Oh my god. I'm dropping the elbow on the outside. Oh, Lilith tossed into the ring post. Betty making her way back into the ring. Lilith shake. Oh. Oh, now Betty tossed into the ring. Uh, oh! Turned around once again. Oh, super kick! Now she's going for the cover. One, two, and three! Bad attitude, Betty picking up the victory. And one-on-one -on -one competition. Oh, no. And what's Betty looking for? Oh my god, not that. Oh, no, she pulls out a steel chair. Oh, Jesus Christ. She's gonna cut. She's gonna cave her skull in with that thing. Oh! Oh, here comes Ashley! Ashley running bad attitude Betty off. The intent was clear with that. Clear what she was gonna do with that steel chair. Ashley was not. Not in favor of seeing anything done, so she had to come out here and make the save. But we gotta get to our next matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It's title match time! Can we actually get to show you this title match this week? We got the Sisterhood taking on the Los Santos Thotties. Rematch from RGW Great American Bash for the RGW Women's World Tag Team Championships. So let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Let's go. Tag titles on the line. Let's go. Oh, here come the challengers, Roxanne and Revy, the sisterhood. Can they win the championships here tonight? Or will the champions continue 
their title reign here in Riot Girls Wrestling. Challengers are ready to go. They want the champions out here now. And now here come the reigning and defending RGW Women's Tag Team Champions, the Los Santos Fotties, Carmela Corset and Liz Anya, making their way down to the ring for what could be another successful title defense but they got a team in that ring that is looking to take those titles away from them Belt graphic. by the classic WWF tag team title designs from the late 80s and all the way through the 90s. Ring the bell! Oh, now Liz going right after Rocks. Ooh, nice uh, vertical suplex. Now Carmella being tagged in. Oh, kick to the midsection. Tie up. Oh! Super kick. Looks like the Los Santos Thotties came uh, ready to defend their titles. Oh, oh, tie up once again. Now Carmella bringing Rox to her corner. Slamming her into the top turnbuckle. We're about to see some uh, double team offense. Early off the bat. Oh my god! Double back body drop from the Thotties. Oh! Big boot! Now Rock's getting the hot tag to her sister. Tie up. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Pele from Liz! Oh, 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 oh missed. Now Revy looking to take advantage. Puts Liz against the rope. Oh, a running knee lift. Knocks down one half of the tag champs. Oh! Sidekick. Now she's bringing her partner back in. Carmella returns to the matchup. Oh! And Carmella gets taken down by a running knee lift. Looks like the sisterhood. Oh! She gets a cheap shot from Liz on the side of the ring. Irish whip off the ropes. Drop down. Oh, leapfrog. Oh! 
Now the balancing act from Carmella. Oh, stiff left. Oh, side suplex. Revy starting to take control in this matchup. Quick pin. What? Only a one count as Carmella fights her way out of the, the pin, pinfall attempt. Oh, oh. Oh my god! Oh. Liz gets the hot tag. Oh! oh. What you get for taking time to celebrate? Liz going back to work on Revy Ralston. Picking her up. Tie up. And a supla. Oh, and Rocks gets the hot tag. Oh, oh! Full Nelson suplex from uh, Rocks. Oh! Kick. That was the sole of the boot right to the face. Oh! Hands are down in the lapel lock! Can she make Liz tap out? We could see new tag champs. Oh, and Liz fights her way out of it. Oh, now Liz with an Irish whip into the corner. Liz going up. Oh, hurricane. Oh, that was a, uh, ah, oh, fuck, whatever. Now, oh, that, that was only a one down. Getting confused by a lot of the moves here. That was actually a springboard in Siguri. <laughs> Don't need to be corrected. Oh, that was a brain buster by Rox into the cover. One, two, three, we have new time champs! Just like that, the sisterhood are the new RGW Women's Tag Team Champions. After being screwed over by, by a count-out victory and production fuck-ups, they are finally on top of the RGW Women's Tag Team Division. The Los Santos Thotties have been dethroned as Women's Tag Champs. But we must move on to our next matchup. The RGW Women's World Champion in action against Rachel Power in Falls Count Anywhere action. Let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. We crown new tag champs. This looks like the weekend where we might see new champions being crowned because the XWF Vengeance pay-per-view is tomorrow night. So let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Double champ. She is also the XWF Women's Champion. But her opponent tonight is gunning for the title that she is holding in her right hand. The RGW Women's World Championship. Or just the RGW Women's Championship.
she is also the protege of WWE superstar Randy Orton. Like she, uh, she uh, does the rip. She does. Like Randy Orton was the one who personally taught her how to do the RKO and she has unleashed that maneuver on her opponents opponents during to win matches also Elsa Royal also does the RKO herself so it's a battle of uh, who will be able to unleash that finisher the first. But Elsa Royal also has another finisher, which is a float over kill switch. So it depends on who is able to unleash a RKO first and how effective that RKO is in getting the victory. Ring the bell and let's get this matchup underway. This definitely also has title as contendership implications on the line as well. So yeah, like Rachel Power is definitely making a run for that RGW Women's World Championship. <clears throat> but so is Claire Groff, and so is Paris Hilton. So Elsa Royal has three people coming for her championship in here in RGW. Also, like Ashley and... Candy were also two people who are looking to make a run for that championship as well. And right now, Elsa Royal fighting her way out of the Wing Clipper submission hold. Got her by the head scissors. Oh! Takedown! Now into the cover! What? Like I said, this is... Like, Rachel Power is proven to be Elsa's toughest, toughest opponent to date. Because, like, uh, Rachel Power, you can see that she out, out <laughs> sizes her by height and weight and also strength. Oh, that was definitely a mistake. Here's the thing, is it? The thing that Elsa needs to to uh, pick up on in this match is take advantage of mistakes by her opponent. And uh, like Rachel Power has made a few mistakes. Oh! Oh my God! That was right to the face. Rachel Power definitely going after her opponent with that steel chair. That was a couple unprotected chair shots. Like, get that uh, chair out of Rachel's hand. And Elsa tossed to the outside. Remember, this is Falls Count Anywhere. No DQ. Obviously no DQ because you just saw the use of a steel chair. But also no count outs. Wing Clipper on the floor! Now the Wing Clipper locked back in on Elsa Royal. Rachel just locking it in on her. But not enough to where Elsa still finds a way to fight out of that submission. Oh my god, and she's going for it again! Oh my god. Like here's the thing, if first you don't succeed, keep trying. But then again, at some point, you might want to just give up on it. Now Rachel being tossed back into the ring. Oh, oh, tie up. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, oh my god. Tornado DDT from Elsa Royal. Oh, oh, right to the mouth. 
with those right hands. Now Elsa picking up the steel chair. Oh! Oh no. Oh! Hammerlock into a suplex! Goes once again! And... Oh! Elsa gets out of it! Shot block to the knee! Oh. Elsa head scissors. And takes her down! Stomp to the midsection. Now Rachel Power going for the cover. One, two, and no! Elsa Royal kicks out of the RKO. Just so you know, that is a move that can be done. Oh, my God. Sit out power bomb. Oh, no. Oh, she doesn't want... He doesn't... She doesn't... Oh! Spear into the corner. Flip back. Another spear. Elsa collapses in a heap, but she grabs the boot and slams her face first onto the mat. Uh oh! Oh! Drop kick to the spine. Elsa now picking up the steel chair. Uh oh! Now just smashing her into the arm with it over the back. Uh oh! Oh my God! Elsa's arms look to be broken head butt! Oh my god! Looks like Elsa's arms might have actually uh, got fixed. Like something, something might have been up with Elsa's arm after uh, that. Oh! 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 Okay! Oh, this is it! This has to be it! One! Two and three, Rachel Power picking up the victory. You got to feel for Elsa because I think one of her arms might have popped out of its socket. But here's their, your victor of the match, Rachel Power, proving that she is definitely on the one to look out for here on R RGW Riot Girls Wrestling because she's definitely going to make a run for that championship now. Coming up next, we got Connie Diamond taking on Taylor Swift. One-on-one -on -one competition. Let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Definitely looking a little, little co more cockier than normal here tonight. Maybe she knows uh, something that's up, something up, something's up. Maybe she knows a secret uh, in Taylor Swift's uh, this uh, offense. Taylor Swift.
Sorry, we had to pause for station identification. <laughs> now we are back to calling some more women's wrestling action. Taylor Swift taking this action to the outside and continuing to beat down Connie Diamond, even swinging her her head into the guardrail. Now Connie fighting back after that onslaught of attack from the uh, songbird herself. Now this match is returning back to the ring. Attack once again. Oh, knee to the foot. Oh, and a double axe handle. Connie Diamond definitely knows how to fight dirty. Well, only a one count. Oh, oh backstabber from Taylor Swift. Like she's definitely stabbed a lot of backs. And a head scissors, Dee Head scissors, uh, uh, whatever the fuck you want to get. Swinging. Now she just hit a swinging neck breaker. And just. Oh, and again. She's causing a lot of attack to the head, neck, and midsection of Connie Diamond. Uh, oh, twist of fate! Oh! Curb stomp! Oh, and now she... Oh, she didn't even... Oh, now she goes for the cover. One, two, three. Taylor Swift making short work of Connie Diamond here tonight. Ah, uh, she's not that... She's definitely not done. Oh, wow. Oh, Taylor's looking to add insult to injury. Somebody's got to do something. Get somebody out here now. Oh, oh, here we go. Kenny Lovecraft with the save. Oh, she was. Dang. We never thought that Kitty Lovecraft would actually come out and save somebody. One half of the coven saving Connie Diamond from getting her to skull smashed in. But yeah, we got to move on to our next match. The brand new RGW Women's United States Champion... The Beast Queen taking on Saturn. Coming up. Uh, up next. Let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. <laughs> Saturn definitely upset after losing that championship to the Beast Queen. So she's definitely wants to try to get that title back. Maybe get some gold back in the Carnival of Carnage. Uh, oh, maybe not after that. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah, that, her, that arm is done. Done and dusted. Oh! German suplex on the floor. Yeah, Beast Queen attacking Saturn from behind, and now this match is officially underway. Like, do we know how long this match will last? That's the question. But Beast Queen still going after uh, her opponent. Saturn looking to make her way back in this match. Tie up from Beast Queen. Irish Whip off the ropes. Oh, ooh, botch. Punch to the face. Oh, and another German. Beast Queen going up. Oh, and it's reversed once again. Irish Whip off the ropes. Oh, elbow. To the chest. Oh, that was the cut off at the pass. 
Oh, she pulled her back and pulled her into a big boot. Going for the cover, only a one count. Still got to do a lot more if you want to put her down. Saturn just holding uh, Beast Queen down. Kip up from Beast with chop to the chest. Up. As a up. Oh! Now just working over the knee. Saturn definitely in trouble right now. Oh, clothesline taking her down. A dragon sleeper locked in! The Saturn fighting her way out of it. Oh, strength on display from Saturn. And slamming her down with the deadlift military press. Now Saturn looking to get back. Oh, fall away slam! Now Saturn going for the quick cover. One, two, and three! Oh, that was almost a victory. I like, yeah, uh, here's the thing. Like, everybody in this, uh, this venue thought she had it. Uh, oh, toss. Beast Queen rolling to the outside. Saturn going to the top. Oh, oh! Flattened with an elbow drop. Oh! Insiguri as Beast Queen reverses it. Ooh! Face first into the guardrail on the outside of the ring. Referee <laughs> getting into the middle of his 10 count. Deadlift military press on the outside. Oh, like I said, there's very little pat protection from that padding on the outside. It's just an inch worth of padding on the outside. Ooh, elbow drop! Now Saturn pulling Beast Queen to the center of the ring. Can she try to defeat her? One, two, and th no! Beast Queen staying alive in this matchup. Oh, Beast Queen reverses it. Oh, chop block! Oh! Oh, oh neck breaker! Now Saturn calling her shot here. Can she get the victory? Azura! Oh! Feast your eyes! One, two, and oh! Beast Queen with the resiliency, kicking out, staying alive in this matchup. Oh. Beast Queen avoiding that knee strike to the temple. Uh, oh. Saturn continuing to fight. Oh! Spinebusters, who you gonna call? Oh, has her up. Oh. oh my god! Slamming her back down again. Getting hyped up. This crowd is on fire for her. Now she's going to the top rope, high rent district. Calling her shot. Telling Beast Queen to get up. Oh, diving shoulder tackle. Now she picks Beast Queen up. Oh, oh, that's reversed. Beast Queen with the Irish whip. Oh, it is cut off. Saturn fighting back. Has her up again. Oh, and she gets out of it! Oh! Oh! Right back 
to work on the knee. Get to the midsection. Oh no! Kill switch! Now into the cover. Rope break from the referee. Beast Queen going to the top rope. High rent district. Nice! She goes for the cover once again. One! And Saturn staying alive. They're going for match of the night. Contenders. Saturn laying it in. Sending her head first into the top turnbuckle. Oh, Beast Queen reversing it. Oh! Exploder suplex! Oh no. She's looking to. This could be the exclamation point. Black Mass! Oh, and she's pulling her right back towards the center of the mat. This could. Center of the mat. This could be it. One, two, and no! Saturn with the resiliency! Oh, stomp to the arm! Beast Queen looking to get fired up, calling the shot once again. Oh! Avoided it! Avoided them! Irish whip off the rope! Oh! This match has gone on quite a bit. They're starting to make mistakes. Oh, oh no, this could be it. Oh! As her up. Kill switch! This might be it for Saturn. One, two, and three. Beast Queen pulling out a victory. But Beast Queen is not done quite yet. Son of a bitch. No, 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 not this. Oh my god! Oh, she's going right back to the arm once again. Oh, another time. Yeah, that arm is definitely, definitely shot. We must move on to our next matchup, ladies and gentlemen, which is our main event of the evening. That's Sola Luca Vera taking on the crybaby clown Soupy. So let's get down to the ring and get our main event underway. Get this matchup underway. This is our main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And coming down to the ring, we got Solo Luca Vera. Just so you know, where else but in the Extreme Wrestling Federation where you will see a promotion that has the balls to set off Pyro in this small of a venue. But yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, one of these days, like, this, uh, <laughs> this arena <laughs> might get burned down by its own pyro. Because we, uh, 
prove that we definitely have the balls to set off Pyro in a venue that is not approved to have Pyro. But Sola Luca Vera is in the ring. And now, here comes her opponent and rival. This is the crybaby clown, Soupy. And more Pyro. Because like I said, we have the balls to set off Pyro in this venue. We just shot holes in the roof with that pyro. <laughs> Get this match up underway. Referee, ring the bell. This match is now underway. Sola going right after her rival. Kick to the back of the head. Times two. A little bit of a shaka bra from Sola Luca Vera. Irish whip into the corner. Oh! Ooh! Face meat turnbuckle. Sola reversing it. Oh my god! And a super kick from Sola. Taking down the crybaby clown. Now Sola going to the middle rope. Hit her with that body splash. Oh! Sneaky roll up for Soupy! Oh yeah, not only got a one count. Uh, oh, suplex! Trapped her arms and then suplexed her. Irish whip off the rope. Drop down. Oh! Sola missing that kick. As her back body drop. Now Sola rolling out of the ring. Go behind. Oh, dropping her down uh, belly first on the floor. Referee starting his 10 count, so they have to the count of 10 to get back into the ring. Uh, tie up. And Sola getting tossed back into the ring. Soupy just waiting. Oh, she was telling Sola to bring it, and that's what she did as she slid out of the ring right into a German suplex. Soupy with those kicks. But then again, like she just wanted to reset the count so she had extra time to cause more punishment to her opponent on the outside of the ring. Ooh! Kick to the face! Count of ten. Oh, and now Sola wants to make her way back into the ring. Uh, she's telling Soupy to get her ass in here. Oh! Slam her face down on the mat. Go for the cover. One, two, and no! Near fall for the uh, Sola. Kick to the midsection. Double underhook. Oh, package suplex.
tie up once again as they're up. Oh, gut buster! So Soupy uh, sliding out of the ring. Now Soupy deciding to get back into the ring. Springboard. Oh, into a Hurricane Rana. Taking down uh, the crybaby clown. Tie up. Soupy tossed into the corner. Now Soupy going right after the leg. Slap him to the face. Takedown. Oh, ankle lock. Great, great vining the leg. Referee seeing the rope break. Oh, oh. Hell's Gate submission locked in on Sola. Can she make her tap out? The Hell's Gate submission locked in. Oh my God. It's wrenched in. Can Sola find her way to escape this hold? And she does! She picks up the crybaby cloud, power bombs her way out of it! But the damage might have already been done. Oh, back kick. Oh, ooh, kicks to the lower back. Now to the face! Working over the arm! Grabbing the other arm. Pulling it back! Oh! Double knees to the, to the spine. Picking her up. No! Oh, she blocked it. Oh! Four up to the face! Four up to the lower back! Oh, kick to the midsection. Lock the arm! Oh, spine busters! Who you gonna call? Picks her back up. Oh, oh, she missed it! Soupy missed her finisher! Now Sola gonna make her pay! Oh! Now Sola, with her telling Soupy to get up, kick to the midsection. Oh, she's calling for it. Glorious DDT! Now Sola going for the cover. One, two, and three! Sola picking up the victory over the crybaby clown as she rolls out of the ring. Make it to make her way back to the locker room. So, nope, Sola's like, no way. I'm not done with you, bitch. Punched her. Oh, throwing her into a ring apron. Grabbing her. Irish whipping her. Tosses her into the ring steps. Sola was not done, and she wanted to add an exclamation point to that victory. And what an exclamation point as Su Soupy was tossed into the steel ring steps and that will bring us to the end of this episode of rgw riot girls wrestling xwf vengeance is tomorrow night on pay-per-view so till then peace the fuck out <laughs>